Okay, welcome back. Um, here we go. Right, we've put all our images in, in order. So frame one, is this one frame two, is this one frame three, etc, etc. Uh, we're just going to check that everything's nice. So the highest one, I'm just going to drag a ruler down and just check through that none of the others are higher. This will give me a good position on things. It's nearly there, but not quite. Okay, we can see our little logo at the side here is going to need to be budged, budged along a little bit. So I'm going to go back in. Um, I did that. I'll show you how I did it. Well, you can do it two ways. You can either click outside of the movie area twice, and it'll take you back to scene, or you can click in here. So I'm back on this layer, which is locked. So I'm going to unlock this logo and just budge him over here a bit higher up I can go back in there and nothing's now getting in the way which is good so now I'm going to get this and I'm going to hide my rulers so I'm gonna get my guides and I'm gonna turn show guides off and I come down here and I'm just gonna check that the bases are nicely moving along with this and they're not juddering out position it's pretty good you can also click in there and hit enter and it will play through them right that's good looks good so far okay my buttons are going to go in here and basically what's going to happen is when you place the cursor over here this image is automatically going to jump to the one that's over so we need to create a base um, button, so I'm going to take this, and it's also going to go slightly darker. So I'm going to pick a dark red, and come up here to my colour wheel to pick a custom dark red. Come over here, pick that a bit darker, that's okay. Okay, now I'm going to zoom in on my images. As tight as you can get it. I haven't got a lot of room to play with here. Um, click in here, just drag this across like that. Now I'm going to click on that, I'm going to right hand click, and I'm going to go convert to symbol, and I'm going to call it gallery. B U T and it's a button, so I'm type button. Okay. Now because it's a button, I can change the alpha on this. So I'm gonna change it to this a bit darker. Now what I want to do is set the action up for it, and then it will take those that action, it'll apply it across the board. So I'm selecting my button now, and I'm going to go to Windows and then Actions, which will open up a box that's miles too big to fit in my YouTube window. Okay, so that's the action box. Make it a bit smaller. And we are going to on, roll over, go to frame one and stop. Yep, well, we only need to set this up. We don't need to go on roll out, go to something else because it doesn't matter. Whatever someone's over, it's going to go to and it's going to stop. And the thing we're looking at here is the go to stop frame one. That's got to match with the frame that the image is on. So bear that in mind. So I'll just minimize that for a second. Now that's set up, it's going to save us a bit of work. I don't have to keep going to the on and the go to. Just do it all in one go. So now what I'm going to do is get this. I'm going to press, I'm going to select it. I'm going to press my left mouse button and I'm going to press my alt. Alt on the keyboard, this duplicates it. 
then I'm also going to press my shift which stops it going up and down it will snap into position and then release oh hasn't done it <laughs> probably because I snapped before I did the other thing let's go back right alt key shift hold that into position and release And now we can take both of these. So I'm now clicking off, clicking that button, then I'm shift clicking that button, then I'm clicking on that again, I'm pressing the Alt key, I'm dragging down, I'm holding the shift, and I'm releasing. And it's done it again. Stupid. It's me trying to go so slow. Just remember to release that Alt key last. If you need to move things slightly, then you can. The most important thing I'm looking for here is that there's a nice snap between these images. But I'm gonna turn this base off. It allows me to see a little bit clearer what's going on. You might need to use the arrows a little bit to knock into certain areas that's pretty tight if I turn that base on again you can see it a little bit mind you my, my montage isn't perfect so you get the idea that you can see my montage is out there um, you could always you could always just go in and change the height I could say right okay let's change the height make sure that's unlocked to a 5 that's a bit better and once again drag it down and release and we do the same here as well drag it down and release and lastly drag it down and release they could probably do being a tad bigger I'm going to make them 106 Okay, now I'm just going to check again. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, now let's go back to our action. Oh, clicked it once. That sometimes happens. If you click it once, um, click it again, you're going to. If I change the color of this, it would reflect across all of these because they're all instances of each other. But the actions associated with the instant can be different. That's why we can do what we're about to do. So as we go through, now we're going to select and we're going to call them what they are. We'll put them in the right frame. So this is obviously two. So at frame two, it's going to stop. That's that one done. This one, action. Frame three, this one's frame 4, frame 5, frame 6, Right, okay, now this is a button, so we're going to now make, go into the button attribute, which is the up and over, 
I'm going to click in there and remember what I applied to this one would apply to the 